Hey, this is Angie from Little Del Plus Nursery, and we're trying this one more time. Um, some of you may have been on earlier today and seen that I did a test trial run of some new software for a live video, and um, we did this some yesterday. So every time, I hope I'm getting a little bit better. One of the things that I haven't figured out or was trying to figure out was how to fix my settings so that uh, when I show you a doll, the coloring doesn't look completely washed out. Um, Apparently, that's an issue that a lot of people have had with these um, videos, with the software that I'm using, is um, that when you show things, it looks very washed out in the streaming. So now that I have worked on that, I think I've got things going a little better. So welcome once again. Uh, I started a live auction, and I'm letting it run. The auction actually started earlier this afternoon, and this auction will run until 9 p.m. tonight. And what I'm auctioning off is a bow rattle, which is the first thing I'm going to show you. And that is um, a wooden rattle, and, it, and I think the coloring is looking better now on the screen. That is a wooden rattle that is made by me. It's for display only. Uh, this is a wooden ball. It's got a wooden little handle, a little wooden tip. It's hand painted with acrylic paints and sealed with acrylic air dry sealers. And this is for display with your babies. It is about five inches tall and about an inch and a half across the front. So it's the perfect size for your newborn babies. Um, and um, you could use it with a preemie near the preemie in the crib if you wanted your preemie to have a larger rattle. And um, so that's really cute, a little uh, display idea. This is not for children. This is not for real babies. I'm selling these for $20 each plus shipping. However, on today's auction, we're starting the bidding at $10. You can bid $10 and bid in, ten, in $1 increments at 9 p.m. tonight. Whoever has the highest bid will win this rattle for whatever the bid is plus shipping. Shipping varies between $4 and $7 depending on whether you want it shipped first class or priority mail. The second thing I wanted to show you is our little Dumplings Junior baby that we're auctioning off. This is my kids' line of dolls that um, I have come up with for the older, uh, the more, the junior collectors among you guys. This is also a doll that we use for comfort therapy babies for the elderly. Um, and this little baby can be sent to you as a boy or girl if you go on my um, page, which I'm about to show you in a few minutes. Uh, you can see the baby dressed as both boy and girl. Um, and decide which way you'd like your baby to come. This baby is lightly weighted. Um, I think it's two and a half pounds thereabouts. I'd have to go back and look. And 19 inches long. It has three quarter uh, vinyl arms and legs. And it's um, painted very nicely. Not heavily painted. Not as intensely painted as a full Angie Baby's Reborn. But it's painted simply baby style. So. I'm hoping now um, that I've been working on the coloring that you can actually see this baby not quite as washed out as it was looking. The pictures that we have up on the uh, website and on the Facebook page are true to more true to color. So here's our little baby, and I'm going to bring it into the camera slowly. And there you can see the mottling is showing up now much better than the last video I did. You can also see... The baby has the blue undertones in the areas between the eyes. A little mottling there. There you go. Much better. Baby looks much better on my monitor. I'm hoping the same for you guys. There's the hand painted hair. And of course, I model and paint the baby's head entirely before I paint the hair. So the hair is painted over the mottling that I put on the head. So you can see little strawberry marks underneath here. There should be, um, and there may, may be some light veining underneath there as well. I don't do a lot of heavy veining, especially on the kids' babies. I don't, there is some light blue. I don't know if you can see it right in there if I turn it. There is some light blue undertoning in the baby. So that's the baby. Um, close up. I'm going to pull the little sleeper legs off right quick and let you guys see the, the legs. We tried to do that earlier, and everything was looking so washed out. So I'm hoping that, like I said, this is going to give you guys a better idea. There you can see the baby's coloring. Now that's a good shot. There you can see the baby's got nice mottling. So it's the, even though this is a, is, um, a, a more lightly painted baby, a lot of care and time still goes into painting 
the uh, Dumplings Jr. and the Simply Babies. There you can see it. So that's our baby. Little toes. Let me pull that foot back up and give you a toenail shot. Little white tips on the nails. There we go. Um, and like I said, the baby's got three quarter uh, limbs. So you see, you've got these little three quarter uh, or uh, limb caps that make it real soft and cuddly. This baby is weighted with um, plastic poly pellets and polyfill. And so there's plastic pellets about up to the knee and about up to the elbow, some in the body cavity and some in the head. And as you can see, the baby, um, let me pull the sleeper back down a little bit. The head does have that flop like you want to have in that wobbly head in your baby that needs to be supported. So that's our little Dumplings Junior. Now this baby I had priced at $199 on my website, but we're running it on auction today and we're going to have a starting bid of $95 for this baby to open with bidding at $1 increments. If you are the winner of this baby at 9 o'clock, whoever has the highest bid will win this baby. Um, you will also be charged actual shipping charges and with the shipping that includes me um, shipping the baby for um, priority mail with uh, fully insured and with signature confirmation. That's how I ship all my babies because I want to make sure they get there safely to their destination. I wanted to look right quick and see if I had any questions. I don't see any thus far. Not catching any at the moment. So, um, one of the questions that I have gotten asked in the past is, um, how do how does how do you go about bidding on this baby? If I or this rattle that you have on this live auction, if I want to bid, how do I do that? So, what I'm about to show you is how to bid. Um, and for that, I'm going to be going over to my computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put us on a split screen so that you'll see me up in the left-hand upper corner of your screen now, and then you'll be seeing my computer screen. And so if you're on my computer, uh, when you come to my website on Facebook, you'll go to um, look up a uh, little LIL, Lil Dumplings Nursery Reborn Dolls, and you're on my nursery page right here. Um, looking on my page, what you want to do is go to photos. So when you go to photos, under photos is where I list all my babies that I have currently for sale and I mark them sold once they are sold. So the first thing we want to look for is our little Dumplings Junior Baby and here we see it. So we click on the Dumplings Junior Baby. This brings up a page of pictures of this baby. And on this page, it shows the information about the baby that tells about how the baby is painted, weighted, and that kind of thing. It tells you that this auction started today at 4.30. It's $95 to start. And um, it tells you, if you go down further, it tells you that the live auction that you would do your bidding here. So I think I listed that at the top as well. But anyway, you were going to go down to the comment section. So, so far, no one has bid on this particular baby. So if you want to place the first bid, then right here you would put $95 in. And that would come up with your name. If you want to bid a maximum bid of $100, you'd put $100 in. Then that would mean that if you wanted to do it that way, that would mean that you would be willing to pay $100 for this baby. So, so it's, it's a little bit different than eBay. So if you want to start at $95, you would need to just put $95, I guess, and, and kind of keep up with it. Um, so that's where you would put the bidding in on the baby. And then at 9 o'clock tonight when that when this bidding ends, I'll come back in and announce the winner. So the same going back to the albums. Um, if you want to bid on, bid on the rattle, you'll find the rattle. And um, if you bid on that rattle, uh, sorry, my husband's trying to message me. I need to turn my messenger off a minute, I guess. Um, Okay. Now, <laughs> sorry. Um, so anyway, on the rattle here is the um, the picture of the rattle. Here it tells a little bit about the rattle, and then underneath this is where you would start your bidding in the comments section. Um, and so if you go back to the albums, I also have other babies listed for sale here. So like Reborn Suki is listed for sale 
here is Suki's page. If you wanted to see about Suki, um, and then you see the pictures, any picture you want to see a close up of, it's just like any other Facebook page. You click on it, and the picture comes up larger. So there's Suki. Um, and so you might be asking, how do I purchase Suki? There's one of a couple of ways you could purchase Suki. The first being you could go directly to my website, which is lildumplings. Uh, dot webs dot com and then go to my available babies page and on that page I have PayPal buttons where you can make purchases. If you are in Facebook there is another um, option that Facebook has added and I'm going to show you that in just a minute but just uh, also have for sale right here is Nina here's her album so if you pull it up there's her pictures the information on Nina um, and then I also have um, Owen, Owen Francis. Let's see, I think I went too far down. There's Owen Francis. So there's the information about these uh, different babies that are for sale in their pictures. Um, going back over to the Facebook page, there's a new thing that Facebook has opened up. I don't know if it's available to all users, but I've gotten it on mine. But they have a thing called now that they're offering called Shop. So if you go to Shop, you have the ability on your Facebook business page to set up your own shop. And in the shop, you can list your items for sale. So in my shop, I have, um, for example, I have Suki listed. If you click on Suki, it brings up a page that shows Suki and all the pictures. So I link these pictures to the pictures in the photo album, so it's the same pictures. And then the information about Suki is right here. If you look at this and you say, oh, I really like this baby, I want to purchase this baby, then you click on check on website. Now, or check out on website. In order to make a purchase through Facebook, um, you don't actually make the purchase directly through Facebook. You must have a, a website to link your Facebook shop to. So this is going to take you to my web page. So when you click on check on web check out on website, then that takes you to my web page. Um, on that web page, it immediately I've got it linked directly to my available babies page. So on the available babies page, and you'll see I've got Dumplings Junior listed here as um, being available on auction, and I've got the link that'll take you right back to the Facebook page. But, so we're looking down through here, and we're looking for Suki because you decided you wanted to buy Suki, let's say. So there's Suki, and underneath it says that Suki was three fifty plus twenty five dollars shipping, but I have him on, or her on summer sale of. A, price of $300 plus $25 US shipping. If you click the buy it now button that takes you to PayPal and you can make your purchase through PayPal. And um, the same with the Owen Francis and you can decide if you want Owen Francis as a boy or a girl and the same with Nina. So that's how that works um, in the Facebook shop. This like I said we're now on my website so if you wanted to look around on my website I've got a home page here that tells a little bit about me picture of me on my 50th birthday when I had my cat encounter. Uh, there is a page that's a photo gallery of babies and on that when you click on that it takes you to my photo uh, P-Base albums where I have lots of babies so these are all the ones I've done thus far in 2017 and you can go on um, P-Base and you can see different albums each album takes you to all the babies for that year time period that's, that's mentioned there. Um, and that, like I said, is linked back to my Facebook page. Um, available kits. These are blank kits that I have in stock from which I will be making babies. Um, some of them are stock photos. This one is one I painted. This is a stock photo. So these I have in stock. So these I did um, a couple of years ago on the Ball Baby Christmas special. So these are the kits I currently have in stock. Uh, and then here's where I tell a little bit about how I paint the babies, that kind of thing. Simply Babies and Dumplings Juniors. If you want to know a little more about that Dumplings Junior doll I have for sale, it's it's d explained here. And um, I have a few free tips and color guide information because uh, I do teach painting now and several other things that you can find here. Um, so that's my website. But we're going to go back, we're going to navigate back to Facebook. So that was the little shop that was over here on this side. So to bid on anything you saw today, you're going to go to the photo album, pull up that particular item, which there's two, and bid in the comments section. So that's what um, 
is happening with that with today's auction. And right quickly, I wanted to also show you in my photo albums that I am. I mentioned my Ball Baby Christmas special. So if you click on See All, and that pulls up all my albums. Here it says Available Kits for the Ball Baby Christmas Special. These are dolls that I have chosen that I will paint up as a nice reborn. I will leave the head bald. And that is so that if you wish to have the baby rooted later down the line, you can do so and send it to the artist of your choice. I don't root much anymore due to some tendonitis issues in my hand. But um, this to keep the pricing down, I'm leaving them bald. If you want the baby to have painted hair, you can do. I can do lightly painted hair for an additional $25. Um, and these are the kits I have to choose from right quick. Normally, I charge $300 plus shipping for a ball baby Christmas special. But as of right now, until October 15th, if you purchase your baby before October 15th, you can get free U.S. shipping, and you just pay your $150 down payment, which is a non-refundable down payment, and then the balance is due when your baby's finished. So the kits I have to choose from are, I have two of these, actually. This is a genuine uh, Coco Milo, which makes a very precious little baby that's very popular, especially with some of our younger collectors. And it has the um, certificate that I got when I ordered the kits from Axel March that proved that these are genuine kits, not knockoffs. Here is a Denise Pratt limited edition Naomi. I have one of those. This is a um, Summer Rain Real Born. I have one left of those. And then I have Charles, who is a Real Born baby that's a little bit larger, so I'm charging more for Charles. Charles will be $325 because he's a 20-inch baby. So those are the ones I'm going to do for the Christmas specials, and once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, and I wanted to mention that I do have eyes for the open-eyed babies that you can choose from. So those are your colors if you want to, if you want to pick a baby with open eyes and have your eye color choice as well. Um, one more thing I wanted to do right quick is to uh, show you the babies that I was showing you earlier that we were not being able to get good coloring on. So I wanted to show them to you again because on the previous videos you couldn't see their coloring, but I think I've got the setting where you can see it better now. So this is Nina. And I'm going to try not, the camera does adjust some as I move. Let's see if I can pull it back here. If I get it too close, it gets darker, so I'm going to be careful. So there's Nina. Now you can see better that these babies actually do have a good bit of coloring on them, and it was just not showing up in the previous videos that we did. So there's, if I get too close, it darkens it a bit. So let me back it up some. That one may actually be coming out a little bit. There we go. When I bring her down, I think I've still got to work on this. I think I have to come in from the bottom, maybe. There. Aha. And she figures it out. Okay. So there's Miss Nina's sweet feet. I love the feet on Nina. She has very expressionable hands. I think we've talked about this before. Let me come around with this one from the bottom. her hands. There's Miss Nina. Alrighty. And then the other baby uh, that I was going to show you was Owen Francis, which currently I have dressed as a boy. And this is my little Owen Francis. He has hand painted hair. Now you can see the full baby hairs. All righty. That's a little better, I think. So hopefully, I'll pull his pants off because <laughs> you can see the legs real quick before we go. I think I said earlier on, on one of the videos that I really like the way this baby's coloring turned out. It's, it's, it's very dimensional in a very subtle way. So there we go. There we go. You can see it. Okay. 
So that's all I wanted to show you guys. I hope this video turned out better than the last few we've done. I'm getting better at this, and it's certainly been a learning process. I'm using a new self software called OBS. Um, there is a website that um, I'm using that this guy has a lot of uh, tutorial videos that really helped me. If I had not had the tutorial videos, I don't know that I would have been able to have figured this out. I'm trying to pull it up now so I can show it to you guys real quick before I go. Um, he has lots of videos that show you how to get this set up. So if any of you guys are using the OBS Studio, um, this guy's videos really do help. Um, there we go. This guy's videos really do help. Um, it's uh, becomeablogger.com forward slash OBS forward slash. And so he has lots of videos. So I started right here yesterday and just went through and watched every single video and set it up as I went through it with him. And that really helped me a lot. And so then today I figured out from doing some more research there was a way to set some of the color settings on my camera, uh, camera recorder or whatever you call it, the little Logitech I'm using. And hopefully that made things better for a better experience for all of you today that are watching this video that I'm working on now. And hopefully um, the coloring is better for this as well. So before I go, let me get back on Facebook really quick and see if I've got any comments or questions to answer um, about the babies. Hoping to, to, to find homes for several of these babies quickly. Um, some of them have been looking for a home for a while. So we want to be sure and get them into homes and and get them placed. I know they'll make nice little Christmas gifts for, for people and whatnot. And um, do I have any questions? Let's see here. So, Gina, thank you, Gina. She says, great picture. Good. I hope the coloring looks good. I don't know if anybody else is actually watching or not. Uh, Gina's the only one that has commented. This is a little bit different when you use this software to go through and do the live auction. I can't see the chat like I did with um, just signing up and going through live auction. So it's so like when you just hit go live and you're instantly there. That one was a little bit different than using the software and going through it. But I, it gives me a little more control because I'm able to split screen and show you guys things on the computer. So hopefully this was um, a good video experience for you guys. Hope you have a great day. And until next time, happy dolling. And you guys enjoy your babies and give your pets a hug from me. And y'all have a good Sunday afternoon. I'll talk to you later. And that's me signing off. And y'all take care.